Hello, hello, Leo. Welcome to your April 2020 overview reading. This is good for you if you're a sun, moon, or rising Leo. And I decided to switch up the spread that I'm using, which is why these are getting out a little bit uh, later than usual. So I hope you don't mind. Made some last minute adjustments. And before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Check out all of my other content on other platforms. You can check out my podcast, TikTok, Instagram, at Onyx Healing. And don't forget, if you want to stay in touch or work with me or know which decks I use, check out the description box. All of your answers will live in there. So I'm gonna lay this out and then we will get started. All right, let's start with your oracle cards as usual. First thing, Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Okay, so there's a lot of um, what I would call Akashic Record information that's being updated right now. That's the best way I can describe it, just because this is, the Akashic Records are where all of this lives. The soul patterns, the contracts, and past life information. And so I think that it's probably going to be a good month to, to like double down on meditation, get clear on what your intentions are, and just be specific about what you would like to emerge in the space that you're creating, even if you don't know how this is happening. So j simply based on the experience that your soul is having that in itself is going to clean up a lot of stuff. So there's going to be a lot of wisdom integration that happens as a result, a lot of patterns that are being broken, a lot of contracts that are being updated. So this is really, really exciting. And then we have, yes, you can. You can. You can figure it out. You can make the money. You can, you know, manifest the partner. I mean, whatever. Maybe not right now. <laughs> that, that might be off the table. But it's like, yes, you can do it. You can heal. You can insert whatever you're working on. And then we have restriction. Limitations may actually be creative opportunities. Is that not the most appropriate thing you've ever heard right now? Choose helpful constraints to make the big idea real. Don't be fooled by others' limiting beliefs. Pay attention to that last one. There's a lot of limiting beliefs that are flying around right now because of just the collective energy that's all kicked up. And so make sure that you do your best to insulate yourself from that so that you can energetically give what you want um, growth. Okay, so here's how this spread works. The three bottom cards, this is what support you have in April. The two cards here, this is direct guidance. And this is going to be more action based more than likely what you should do what you're getting guided to do. And then the top card is the outcome of the month for you. So let's see what you have supporting you. Two of Cups. So connection is something that has been consistent with all the fire signs, and you are not an exception. So the, the Two of Cups is kind of like, who are you connected to? Who are you surrounded by? Um, obviously, that's probably going to be way, way, way less than normal. But of the people that you have in your community or around you at this time, like really looking at those relationships as being important to nurture, keep healthy, work through. It's like there's there's a lot of work to be done in connection, even if you're not physically in each other's space. It's just about whatever community looks like for you at this time. So let's see what else is really supportive for you. Knight of Cups, doing the emotional work is going to be really helpful. Of course, that's going to be true for most people anytime you have a really massive stressor that that comes up or comes into play but I'm getting like community um like the quality connections that you can maintain at this time that's going to be really supportive chatting with friends reaching out to people you know d doing things like that just being in communication alone is something that can be really powerful 
And then it also looks like the Knight of Cups is you working on and processing the emotions that are coming up for you. That's going to be really, really key, really important. And then we have the Sun. I'm going to clarify this one for you. This is like a fun time card, right? Enjoying yourself, getting back to childlike play. So the, the Sun for you is coming up as creation, do you like to paint? Do you like to draw? Do you like to work on crafts? Do you like to bake? I mean, whatever your creative outlet is, that's going to be what supports you this month heavily, aside from the other things I mentioned. So to clarify the sun, we have the queen of swords coming through. Don't overthink it. Just let it be something that if the inspiration strikes, go for it. Like there's, there's good time, good energy to be doing all of this. And it's going to be a, a proper outlet for any stress, fear, um, anything that's getting lit up right now. So use that, just follow your nudge, follow your inspiration when it comes to what you're creating right now. Don't judge it, just do it. The Queen of Swords is super innovative, so you might have a lot of ideas, a lot of clarity, a lot of um, just big, big ideas shine through. Now remember, this is direct guidance for you in the month of April. Okay, so Six of Cups. This is kind of doubling down on the childlike piece, right? So really getting into, if you, if you were a child... Okay, think about in that instance, in that circumstance, what would you really want or need from a parent, right? What would feel good to you? What would make you feel supported? What would make you feel loved? What would make you feel tended to? Get, dip back into nostalgia for a moment and just ask yourself the question of what did my parents do or what would I have liked them to do? in order to help me feel my absolute best. And then you want to do that yourself. You want to fulfill that for yourself. So that's going to be a big piece of the work that you can do in the month of April is just looking at, you know, do, do I need to pay attention to my body's cues? Do I need to pay attention to what my body is telling me a little bit more? Or do I need to, you know, get some extra sleep? Do I need to take another break right now? Really pay attention to that because I'm getting that there's, one, a lot of wisdom that's going to come from that, a lot of healing that's going to come from that. And it's also going to help you feel your absolute best at this time. And then we also have judgment. So if you decide on how you want this experience to be, that is going to help you receive direct guidance as well, right? So if you kind of say, okay, I want this experience of this month to be X, Y, Z, then you're going to be presented with opportunities to make that happen. I hope that's not too esoteric. I hope um, you know what I mean when I say that. Now, the outcome of the month is the hanged man. Funny, Aries got this too. I'm going to clarify this for you. Three of Cups. Okay, so the Hanged Man is kind of like continued pause. So again, there is likely going to be um, just collectively, right, a lot of uh, similarities in terms of collective themes are coming up in the, the, these readings really potently. That's just kind of the way things like this go. But when it comes to the Hanged Man, it's like as we head into May, the trend that I'm starting to see is continued slowness, like just a slowing down, continued introspection, continued um, progress at this level. So when we're in a masculine period of time, collectively speaking, it's kind of like all systems go. Hustling, grinding, what have you. But when the hanged man comes up, it's like a pause where you're kind of being blessed with the pause, right? Whatever, whatever circumstantial effects that might have is a different story. But the hanged man is just a 
a, a nice healthy pause and that being what is most supportive for you at this time even if you don't understand how that may be the three of cups is kind of reverting you back to this core message with like the connection and the community as being what will continue to be supportive. These, these themes are going to continue into May is the main message that's coming up. So even though I'm not reading into May right now, as far as I can see at this point, it's, it's looking more and more like treat this as something that will, will be extended, get your systems in place, get clear on your decision, right? What do you want to experience at this time? What would you like to see? Ask for things to appear. And then don't forget that connection and community is going to help you feel um, like, like you're, you're tapped into life. You know, it, you might be feeling like you're not fully tapped into life or that things have been so, so, so disrupted for you. So it's like the connection is what can bring harmony back into that if you feel like you've lost it. Because everybody is going to be responding to the collective differently. Okay, let's get into the timeline. First quarter of April, we have the Page of Pentacles showing up for the things that are really important. That is the main thing that I am getting here. And it, it's about the initiation, maybe a new project, maybe you're starting on something exciting that you that you get to do or you have the opportunity to do or you have the time to do. It just seems like you're showing up for what's important. And what's important is something that's gonna vary person to person. So even if it's not a personal project, it's like you're still showing up for important work in this world even if it feels like you're doing nothing. And then card or quarter two, we have the lovers. Making decisions that are going to make you feel your best, it's important to keep this in mind more than ever because just because the environment is uh, shaken up in whatever capacity doesn't mean that you should not be making decisions that make you feel your best, right? <laughs> you want to keep doing things and decide over and over and over that you will be um, making making aligned choices. And that's what the lovers presents. Quarter three, we have the devil. Is it boredom? Is it temptation? Is it old bad habits? Is it, you know, something that might be a little bit more disruptive? This can also be you kind of confronting parts of your shadow self. So I'm just getting that the, the shadow, the, the part of you that might want to run amok a little bit. Maybe it's procrastination. Maybe it's a part of you that gets really impatient. I mean, it could be anything, right? So when you're, when you're looking at this, you want to think about how you're relating to your shadow self, how you're wielding your shadow self, how you're using it, right? I'm going to advise you to pour it into things creatively because that's the best place for it to go. But it's also worth exploring and tending to and working on healing that because different circumstances, situations, collectively and individually, will have you confront different parts of your shadow. So I think you have an opportunity to do that in the third quarter, however that's manifesting. Quarter four, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this is interesting because you have two solid initiation cards on the table. So it, it's like the, the page of pentacles showing up and then the ace, like the beginning, the start of it happens again at the end of the month. So you know what this is really reminding me of, honestly, is it looks like a new intention or like clarity on where you're going, where you're headed, what you want to do. Like there, there's a change that's happening there foundationally. So you might actually see that you're, you're making decisions that are for like your next level, but it might feel very new. So you might realize at some point in April, oh, there's, there's actually this thing that I really, really want to make happen or that I want to do or that feels like it's in alignment with me. I'm getting a lot of clarity coming from this timeline, especially after you go through this shadow piece, because the shadow piece is important. It's going to illuminate the parts of you that are the highest expression of yourself, because you can't have one without the other. 
So that clarity is actually what shows you what you do want, what is aligned. Now let's do a three card pick. Pick a card, any card, whatever feels good to you. Ask a question, ask for guidance. If you need more time, pause the video so you can take a moment. And card number one, Queen of Swords. So if the inspiration is there, listen to it, take action on it. And the inspiration is more for personal support, for mental support, so you can actually share what you're here to share with the world. All of that is done with this Queen of Swords energy where you can really just do it for you, do it independently, do it because it's right for you. The Queen of Swords is really, really good at discernment and just trusting herself. So that seems to be the, the uh, reminder here. Card two, we have the world. So it's like there's a lot of big stuff happening. No, it's not just you or like it's not just your life. It's a lot of stuff that's evolving, that's changing, that's shifting, that's, you know, changing pace, changing evolution. The world is really highlighting that. So it's like big cycles coming to completion. Big patterns are being resolved. Big stuff, both in the macro, right, the collective and in the micro, so if you feel like you have uh, 50,000 things going on outside of just the environmental stuff, this is why. And then card number three, we have the emperor, divine masculine, showing up. So again, with that page of pentacles, it's like the showing up energy, even though this is a collectively feminine time, it's important for you to continue showing up for yourself, showing up for the, the work that is divinely meant for you to do, and you're the only one who can do it. Continuing to show up for those who are important to you, all of that is going to ultimately help you in whatever it is you've asked about or whatever guidance you've, you've tapped into for this. So show up, show up, show up. Thank you so much for joining me today, everybody. It has been a pleasure as always. And if you would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go to onyxhealing.com. Check me out on Instagram at onyxhealing for more content from me. You can check out my podcast. I post some of the episodes on YouTube as well. You may have already seen that. And as always, stay in touch, get on my newsletter, go to the link in the description box, or you can check out all of the different offers that I have down below, as well as all of the decks that I've used in this video. For those of you who are interested in classes, you are more than welcome to join one of the classes that I have. They are open and available, so you can check that out as well. And I will see you all next time. Have a beautiful April, everybody. Bye-bye.